The Human God Spark I was raised in a Midwest Christian Baptist household, and among the first things I learned in Sunday school was that God created man in his own image. That always caused some cognitive dissonance for me, mainly because it sounded like God was a male human, which seemed contrary to my innate knowing that the Creator God was limitless, infinite, and simultaneously within and beyond all form. I finally asked my granddad about this when I was a young man. He was a college president with a divinity degree, so I trusted his answers on spiritual matters. He said, Bible translations are not to be taken literally. I believe this in his own image idea is more accurately saying that human consciousness is a direct characteristic of the Godhead all humans are imbued with. In other words, having a piece of the Creator within us all is what makes us human. He then handed me a copy of Teilhard de Chardin's revelatory tome, The Phenomenon of Man, a pretty intense study manual on this very question. As my spiritual studies sauntered along, I studied with a Toltec shaman who revealed another dimension to me about human divinity. He pointed out that everything has already been created, and that it is the God spark within all of us that is choosing what reality we experience in the physical and non-physical worlds. It is a human God spark that created every possibility for us to experience based on the reality of our existence. I later came to believe, from my direct knowing, that humans are the Creator's failsafe that ensured a return to universal harmony after the unleashing of the great experiment of darkness. This experiment gave dispensation to the Lords of Chaos, who rebelled against God's natural law of harmony, and wielded great power and dominion over swaths of creation, enslaving all sentient beings in their wake and separating humans from their own God spark. As we are now finding out via the current Great Awakening, it was this darkening of the light of the human God spark that allowed the blatant usurping of control and the enslavement of humanity. But just as all polarities must at some point resolve, the Great Awakening is waking up the hexed and hypnotized, revealing once again the human property of divinity, that peace of God that had been encased in the black goo of evil, effectively disconnecting humanity from what it truly is. Those originally granted dispensation to exploit this darkness realized early on that the human god spark was going to be a problem, because the humans could simply choose something different, effectively neutralizing the dark's power. So this choice feature had to be turned off somehow, and they went to great lengths to make it so. Fortunately, a few of the humans remembered their power of choice, uploaded the reminder to the collective, and the Great Awakening began in earnest. By awakening to our own God spark, we instantly open universal portals to other universes, all other sentience, and all other experience. It is only our non-belief in this ability that hides it from us. The non-belief is caused by choices we made to limit our power, reduce the scope of our being, and reduce the aperture of our experience to just a few possibilities. Perhaps we were hiding from the chaos of the black goo, attempting to virtue signal the controllers that we were not a threat, or maybe we thought the evil was just temporary and would pass us over if we kept our heads down and kept quiet. Whatever the reasons for our self-limitations, the reminders of our powers of choice have been re-uploaded to the collective, signaling to all of us, like an all-clear siren, to re-embrace our God spark, reassume our powers of choice, and retake the sovereignty of our experience. We are free to share and experience ourselves and others through the portals of connected consciousness, harmonizing, unifying, and loving multiverses and experiences previously wrecked by the darkness. It's all open now, and only our non-belief maintains any illusions of victimhood. The awakened are causing a tsunami of light to overtake, consume, and transform any remaining darkness, allowing the heavenly choices of all of us to come into an experience of a new paradise of love, beauty, and connection upon this fair earth. 
You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy Rx. www.pureenergyrx.com.